Hey, how are you doing? So this is Nelson. Um, we'll be teaching how to make changes to your website. So, <coughs> so let's first start by creating uh, by running our local. And we write the the port uh, that we want to run our our local dev. Um, you can see that here you you should be able to see your what's on your local machine right so right now this is the deploy side you can see that it says broken .com, community team um the changes that i'm going to be making is first i want to delete this so let me delete this and second that is on the local local host so, so on the deployment is is it going to have the, the old version right of course um, but on the local machine it's going to or have the latest changes and now I also want to remove the hello from here and I want to remove Nelson from from the team right so first I go to or admin and let's go to teams and now let's modify Nelson um, and I want to write like a graduated right so I removing myself from the team and um, I also want to if I go to the local I shouldn't be there anymore you can see that Nelson is no longer here and now I want to now I want to, <coughs> to change uh, the description for Wendy right <coughs> so I remove this uh, the, the hello I say this and now you can see on, on your local machine that that Wendy no longer has a description and this is not the um, the, the admin is, is the, the live version and production version. I'm going to teach on a different video how to update the, the admin. <coughs> so now we are here. We change our description and you can see this is on the local machine. Um, but this is not going to be reflecting on our, on our production machine, right? So how do we make the changes that we made here uh, into a production machine? What, what we want to do? A, oh, sorry, on the production uh, side right so you can see that the changes are not reflected on the production side so if you want to have this uh, updated on the on the production side uh, we have to go to our code um, you can see that <coughs> that i own the on the main branch so i'm going to be committing i'm going to be <coughs> adding everything to my stash um, remove <coughs> so I add the description to my commit. Uh -huh. right. and then I push this to the to my origin. And you can oops, what did I do? Uh, sorry, I have to get the world link. So now you can see that uh, my latest commit was uploaded. Um, to to deploy this, what I had to do is to go over actions. I mean, sorry, I'll let you know. Uh, I want to. I need to create a pull request. I can create this. Uh, I'm, I'm going to show how to create it using GitHub. The GitHub GitHub Web Key Guy. Um, but you can totally do this from 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 the terminal. I'm going to show how to do that from the terminal next. Um, the first, we want to create a new pull request. We want to write uh, to deployment. I want to send our changes from main, right? So we we are making the changes from main, and we want to send that to deployment. So we create the pull request. Um, here you have the description of the pull request. Once once I'm done with this pull request, uh, we merge this, confirm merge, and now. You can see on actions so you can click on github actions let me click on github actions you can see this yellow dot right so this what this yellow dot means is that it is running the 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 build right so <coughs> so what this is going to be doing is that let me show you So let me go to the deployment branch. I'm going to be showing you the 
the make file um, the the job the plugin. I'm going to show you also the the make file here. <coughs> Alright, so first what we are going to be doing is that Kita automatically is going to be detecting when we when we push a change to the deployment branch. Uh, once it's detected, it's going to first configure the, the GitHub username from the it's, it's going to create a virtual machine using Ubuntu and it's going to be configure, configuring the GitHub um, global username as one and then we are running the, the first my uh, make command which is going to be build commit and push um, what build commit and push does is that first it installs everything using yarn then it creates a, a build for it creates the build and the build is going to be on the out uh, out file so it's going to be here it's going to be uh, running a sport so it's going to all the all the build is going to be on the out folder and then uh, adds everything to the hit stash and commits everything as production update but it doesn't push everything so the difference between this and this is that you are not publishing the change you are not pushing the changes to github so so this is going to be only here right? and you can see that um if we see the logs is right now it's uploading all the changes and the way it does all the changes is that it runs make ft config push push um, <coughs> and then it changes the it configures the, 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 the FTP URL uh, the FTP user FTP uh, password and then syncs everything to from the out folder which is here with all the static files and it's going to be uh, pushing this to to the FTP server um, the credential for the FTP servers are I think I, I'm going to blur them out from the video or something um, and you can see now that the, the job is done, right? So now that the job is done, we can go to to the actual site. Uh, we're gonna refresh the site, and you can see that Nelson is no longer there, and you no longer have like a hello when this you just have Wendy, right? 